everybody, this is Mrs. Clemens, and this is Psychology Flipped. And as always, remember to keep calm and study psychology. Alright, so uh, what we're learning about today is altered states of consciousness. Uh, and today we're going to focus on the sleep portion of altered states of consciousness. We're going to be talking about some of the other stuff as we go along. Um, but um, you're going to be so excited about this topic that you're not even going to get sleepy um, because it's just so cool. You're going to know if you need to write something, if you see Mr. Smiley Face with the Z's. Um, I'm sure that some people might want to name him. I'll name him Roy. That's right, Roy. All right, let's get going. All right, so sleep and dreams. Oh, look at the cute kid. All right, so just because you're sleeping does not mean you're unconscious. People kind of have this idea like, oh man, I was so tired, nah, like I just fell unconscious. Like, no, you're asleep and sleep is an altered consciousness. Um, and we know that, we know what's actually happening because we look at your brain activity and we use an EEG to study your brain to see what's actually happening while you're sleeping. And so you're not writing anything on this slide, but you can see with the different stages of sleep, um, the, the waves that are going on in your brain. And you can see that they're very tight and close together here. And as you get into the deeper stages of sleep, they're starting to get farther apart and they're starting to um, elongate. And so here you are, stage four, we're gonna talk about that. That's our deepest sleep. And then stage five, check this out, because we're going to be talking about this later. This is where we're dreaming. All right, so the stages of sleep. Um, by the way, I did not name him Dwight. He was named previously Dwight. It could be a girl. Uh, I don't name these things, although I did name him Roy. Hi, Roy. All right, so you only need to write the stage one, but in terms of falling asleep, you'll notice that your body temperature falls. That's why, you know, you might want to have more blankets or stuff on you. Your pulse is slowing, your breathing is slowing. It's getting a little bit more even, um, and you're emitting these alpha waves. Um, your body might twitch a little, your eyes might roll. Uh, now, stage one, we're actually asleep. Um, your pulse is slowing even more, your muscles are relaxing. Your breathing's now getting a little bit more uneven, and your brain waves, those alpha waves, are becoming a bit irregular. And so you can kind of see, like here you are awake, here it is asleep, and you can see it's starting to spread out, even right here. Um, stage two, your eyes are starting to roll from side to side. Lasts about 30 minutes. And here again, you can kind of see, when I was talking about the the length of the waves it's called the fancy fancy name is amplitude and so you can see that it's the amplitude is picking up um, stage three you're having large amplitude delta waves um, they're sweeping your brain every second or two so here again we're looking really kind of close at this things are spreading out even more the amplitude is increasing stage four that we're going to talk about in a second that's that deep, deep stage of sleep, and you can see by how far apart. You know, look at the difference between these. And then when we're dreaming, our brains are active again. Holy cannoli, you're going to love me for writing all this. Stage four is our deepest stage of sleep. So in terms of the stages of sleep that you need to know about, I really say that stage four and stage five, which is the REM stage that we're going to talk about, um, they're the most important. So stage four, you're having large regular delta waves that are happening. Um, you're totally in a state of oblivion. So the other day this actually happened to me that my alarm went off and it took a while before I actually even realized that the alarm was going off. When I got up to turn off my alarm and I keep my alarm on the other side of the room so that I'll actually have to get up and move somewhere. Um, I was crazy. I was crazy. <laughs> I was super dizzy, um, really disoriented. Um, it was very hard for me. It was like hard to get over to the alarm um, because I know I was I was in stage four and I was definitely disoriented. Uh, this is the stage when we're going to be talking about sleep disorders. This is where sleepwalking and bedwetting are going to happen. And you don't have a memory of that. It's not something that you wake up and you're like, oh, was I sleepwalking? Like, no, you didn't know that. Uh, the key for us beyond um, where these, these different disorders happen 
is that we need to know that this is really important for our physical well-being and our psychological well-being. So if you're not getting that super deep sleep, you're, you're hurting yourself. Um, physically, you know, it's the one time you can really kind of rest your body, but it's also the one time you can actually really rest your mind. And, um, and that's just so important to us um, for memory, for um, being able to think, for um, they've actually, I just read a thing saying it can help prevent Alzheimer's, getting this deep sleep. So get the deep sleep. All right, still talking about stages of sleep, we've got the REM stage of sleep. Now here, the, our pulse and our breathing are regular. Um, our adrenal and sexual hormones um, are rising uh, as if we're actually experiencing whatever it is we're dreaming about. So if you're dreaming you're running, and let's say you wake up then, you might be deep breathing like, oh, you know. <laughs> let's say um, you're dreaming about something here with, uh, you might wake up and be excited in a kind of way. Um, I just I just clapped on mine. This is a little bit crazy. Um, but I didn't actually clap. Like, I made the clapping sound, but I did not actually clap. This is not that kind of thing that you're watching. I'm going to stop talking now. Anyway, um, we're talking about that. <laughs> All right, so face or fingers might twitch. So if you've ever seen somebody sleeping, you might see them kind of fidgeting around. I just fidgeted as if you could see me. That was pretty awesome. Uh, it's known as active sleep um, because, like we said, that's where dreaming takes place. And you saw the brain waves. They were really, really, the amplitude was low. They're really tight together. So it's very, very active. Um, the first time that you go through the cycle of, because the, the stages are a cycle, the first time you go through, it's going to last 10 minutes, and you're to go through an entire sleep cycle, stages 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, 5 is the REM, um, it takes 90 minutes. Now, each time that you're going to go through that, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the... Um, the stage five, the REM stage is going to go longer. So when we start talking about dreams and we talk about how, you know, you might dream at one point, you know, you're walking down the hall at school and then all of a sudden you switch and you're, you know, at home, what really might be is one time, you know, one sleep cycle, you're dreaming that you're at school, the next sleep cycle, you're dreaming you're at home and it just seems like you kind of fast forward. And just to show you um, from an MRI, uh, normal sleep, Red is the most active, uh, and then orange, yellow, and then blue and purple are the least active. So you see, you know, there's some red going on in there. But look at REM stage of sleep. There's so much more red. There's so much less blue and purple. It, you're very active during the stage of sleep. All right, and our last slide for right now is talking about some sleep facts. Um, that 75% of our sleep occurs in stages one through four. So, all right, mathematicians, make me proud. How much of your sleep are you spending dreaming? Hang on, hang on. 75 minus 100. Yes, that's right, 25% of the time you're dreaming. So when people say, no, nah, I didn't dream, like, you're really dreaming. That guy, um, we don't want to know what he's dreaming. Um, so anyway, the other thing is to look at how much sleep you actually need. And it is really interesting. Newborns need a lot of sleep. They're sleeping 12 to 18 hours a day. That's why they're a little bit boring. They're just sleeping and eating. Infants, 3 to 11 months, they're a little bit more out there, but not much. Toddlers, 12 to 14 hours. Preschoolers, 11 to 13 hours. Now, when you're getting into, you know, with, with kids that are going to school, 10 to 11 hours of sleep, is how much they need. Um, you guys should be getting eight and a half to nine and a quarter hours of sleep. How many of you are actually getting that? Um, when you're not getting that sleep, and we're going to be talking about this, it actually does really hurt you. So you need to make this a priority. And then adults need seven to nine hours. So even then, it doesn't go down that much. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and you uh, tune on in for our next time when we talk more about sleep and altered states of consciousness.